Now, a Target 12 consumer investigation. Buyer beware. When a wood pellet company in Connecticut didn't deliver products that had already been paid for, viewers contacted Call 12 for action. We went to Connecticut and we dug into court documents to get answers. And Target 12 consumer investigator Susan Campbell joins us now with what she's learned about the Wilsonville Power Company and its owner. Mike and Shannon, one of our viewers spent nearly $2,000 on wood pellets that would have heated his home for the entire winter. The pellets that were promised were never delivered. He wants a refund but fears he will never see that money again. On low, we go through a bag a day. Jeffrey Gavlik uses wood pellets to heat his Harrisville home. When he saw the Wilsonville Power Company advertising a good deal a few months ago, he jumped on it. The price at $225 a ton was the lowest anywhere around. So we went and purchased eight ton. Jeffrey paid in full with a check for $1,860. He said, you called just in time because that was a Saturday, placed the order, um, and he said as of Monday, they're going up to 240 a ton. The check was cashed in September, and the company, which was based in Connecticut, delivered one ton of wood pellets in October. And it said the rest will follow. Well, every time I called, I never got connected with anybody, and, and then... I went there, there was nobody there. We went through court records and discovered the owner of the company, Alan Meisler, filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy late last month. When we went to the address for his business, there was no sign of it, and his phone numbers have all been disconnected. That was our whole heating for, this, for the winter. That was all paid, and we thought we were all set, and, and now we're not. We found Jeffrey is one of 109 customers who filed a complaint against Wilsonville Power Company with the Connecticut Attorney General's office. You know, businesses do go bankrupt. Um, there's nothing illegal about going bankrupt. Um, but the question is, did they take money from people knowing they were about to file for bankruptcy? Attorney General George Jepson tells us his office has committed significant resources to this investigation. If somebody uh, took money from consumers knowing that the business would be in not in a position to deliver the product, uh, there can be personal liability. According to court records, Meisler has filed for bankruptcy two times previously. We tried repeatedly to reach Meisler for his side of the story, but we were never able to track him down, and his attorney did not return any of my phone calls or emails. Coming up new at 6, what you can do to make sure something like this doesn't happen to you. With the Target 12 investigator, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News. New details now in a Target 12 consumer investigation, buyer beware, live at 5. We told you how more than 100 customers were left in the cold after paying in full for heating fuel that was never delivered. Now new at 6, what you can do to make sure something like this never happens to you. Target 12 consumer investigator Susan Campbell is here now with what she's learned. Mike, it's not fail-safe because businesses can go bankrupt, but the Connecticut Attorney General tells us consumers can help protect themselves by doing some homework about businesses before they buy. How they plan to resolve the issues of pellet delivery and refunds. When Jeffrey Gavlik received this letter from the Wilsonville Power Company, he realized he had a problem on his hands. That was a winter heat sauce right there. Jeffrey had prepaid for eight tons of wood pellets at $225 a ton. The company cashed his $1,860 check, but only delivered one ton of pellets. Well, every time I called, I never got connected with anybody. Then last month, the owner of Wilsonville Power, Alan Meisler, filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. So far, 109 customers have filed complaints against his company with the Connecticut Attorney General's office. You know, businesses go bankrupt. Uh, it's uh, not every business survives, uh, and um, but it is illegal for a business to knowingly solicit customers and take money, knowing that they're not going to be able to deliver the product. So we asked Attorney General George Jepson for some advice. How can consumers protect themselves from similar situations? Consumers need to understand that, that when you're buying a product for future delivery, you're relying on the fact that the business is going to be in business. It's important to make sure that they're credit worthy, particularly if they're a startup or a new business. Jepson says it's also better to pay with a credit card if you can. Because if uh, there's a failure to deliver a product that you've paid for by credit card, you can contest that charge. For customers like Jeffrey Gavlik, now it's a waiting game as this case works its way through bankruptcy court. 
We tried repeatedly to get in contact with Alan Meisler and his attorney, but we were never able to reach them. With the Target 12 investigators, I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.